If you or someone you know is a burgeoning vlogger or content creator who has outgrown their smartphone, but doesn't want to fully leap into using a complex and expensive chunky boy like this, Sony's line of vlogging cameras might be just what you're looking for. The Sony ZV-1, ZV-10, and ZV-1F are all excellent content creator focused cameras. They offer more functionality and video options than the smartphone, but are also more streamlined and way more portable than a fully fledged mirrorless camera. We'll start with the advantages that all three models share and then dive into what makes them different from each other so you can decide which one is best for the content you want to create. Portability is the key word for all three cameras. These little dudes are all very lightweight and very portable, making them ideal for vlogging for long periods of time or for setting up at your desk as a webcam or main camera without taking up too much real estate. They're also beginner friendly and are aimed at users whose prior experience may only be shooting on their smartphones. What I like about these cameras is that they use the same overall menu system found in Sony's highest end mirrorless cameras, but they have some thoughtful tweaks to make using them even easier. All menus can be navigated entirely via touch, for instance, and frequently used settings can be accessed via a press of either the function button or a simple swipe up from the bottom of the screen, depending on which camera you're using. But these cameras are quite literally designed from the ground up for content creators, and a lot of the features that Sony added to these cameras speaks to this. For example, all three cameras feature a product showcase mode, where the focus will immediately snap to an object placed in front and center of the frame and then instantly return to your face as soon as it's removed. All three cameras also have a dedicated background defocus button, which lets you instantly blur the background of your video without needing to know anything about aperture or shutter speed. And speaking of focus, Sony has some of the best autofocus out there, which is an essential feature for solo video shooters. All three cameras also have fully articulating touchscreens, which allows you to compose your shots more easily, and having that tack sharp autofocus just gives you that extra peace of mind to just focus on the content and not whether your content is in focus. All three cameras also offer some form of image stabilization, which will help smooth out any micro jitters that come from walking around with a camera body that's this small. For the times where your camera is fully stationary, you can also use all three ZV cameras as webcams, allowing you to dramatically bump up the quality of your video calls or live streams. All three cameras also have some seriously impressive built-in mics. With most point-and-shoot or mirrorless cameras, the built-in mics are often an afterthought, but once again, Sony designed these cameras from the ground up specifically for content creators, and fortunately, audio quality was not overlooked. Each camera also comes with a small windshield that slides onto the hot shoe mount and does an excellent job of cutting down on wind noise while shooting outside. Of course, if you do still want to step up your audio game, that same hot shoe mount along with a 3.5mm jack that all three cameras include can also be used to accommodate other shotgun mics for even better audio, such as Sony's ECM-G1 and ECM-B10 microphones. Finally, on the note of accessories, Sony also makes a grip slash remote control that works with all three of these cameras. In addition to being both a grip and a tripod, you can also pair it via Bluetooth to your camera and use it to easily stop and start recording, take a picture, and zoom in and out. You also get a custom function button to enable whatever additional feature you want, such as instant background defocus. So the great news is you're getting all of these features regardless of which of these three cameras you choose. But now let's dive into what makes each camera unique, starting with the ZV-1F. Out of three lightweight, small, and affordable cameras, the ZV-1F comes in as the lightest, smallest, and most affordable of the bunch. It has a 20 millimeter prime Zeiss lens with a 2.0 maximum aperture, which provides a wide angle field of view that is perfect for vlogging. Here, right up here is the ZV-1F. So this is what a 20 millimeter focal length looks like with the Sony G1 microphone set up on top. Um, the nice thing about this is I can kind of keep it at a comfortable arm's length and 20 millimeters is a really good focal length for vlogging like this. So if you see yourself primarily vlogging, this is a really, really great setup to have. However, it is worth noting that being a fixed prime lens, this camera can't optically zoom in or out. You do get a rocker to digitally zoom in up to four times though, but think of this effect as like pinching in on your phone's camera app while taking a picture. Moving on to the ZV-1, this camera comes in at almost the same size and weight as the ZV-1F, but with a few additional key features. First and foremost is the inclusion of a fixed zoom lens, allowing you to optically go from 24mm focal length on the wide end to 70mm fully zoomed in. While this lens can't go quite as wide as the ZV-1F, it is the more flexible option for those who don't see themselves primarily using this camera for vlogging. It also includes built-in ND filters. These are basically sunglasses for your camera, but in outdoor lighting they can help with motion blur and provide a more pleasing and cinematic look to your video. Motion blur in video is a whole rabbit hole unto itself, but very long story short, one of the main reasons that smartphone video often doesn't look like professional quote-unquote cinematic video comes down to motion blur, and having a built-in ND filter can help you control this. Another difference is in stabilization. 
Well, the ZV-1F achieves stabilization via a combination of a wide lens focal length and digital stabilization. The ZV-1F has digital and optical stabilization, meaning that you might be able to squeeze a little bit more stable footage out of the ZV-1, which is especially helpful when zoomed in. Looking at the ZV-1 here, uh, the nice thing about this guy is, like I said, you get the zoom lens with this, so you can go from a 24 millimeter focal length, which is what I'm at now, to a 70 millimeter focal length zoomed all the way in. So you might notice that this 24, it's not quite as wide as what you're getting with the ZV-1F here, but uh, if, you have a, if you have a decent length arm reach, uh, you can still definitely get pretty wide here, as you can see. And plus, you're getting a lot of advantages. That zoom lens is just going to be more flexible regardless of what you're doing. You also get built-in ND filters with this so you can control your shutter speed a little bit more. Um, and for audio, this is what it sounds like with the default uh, windshield on. So right out of camera, this is what your audio is going to sound like. So let me know what you think this sounds like. And finally, we have the ZV-10. While this camera is still incredibly small and lightweight, it is the largest of the three. And that is due to its main differentiating feature its interchangeable lens mount. Unlike the other two cameras, the ZV-10 allows you to use any compatible E-mount lens you want with it. You can purchase the camera either body only and BYO lens, or you can get it as a kit with a flexible 16 to 50 millimeter lens included. The advantages of this are pretty straightforward. With the ZV-10, you can use whatever lens is best suited for your usage case in the moment, as opposed to being stuck with whatever lens comes built into the camera. You're also getting a larger APS-C sensor with this camera, meaning that it will perform better in low light than the other two ZV cameras, and more easily get that blurry background effect without needing to use and rely on that defocus button. And while the ZV-10 doesn't have the convenience of the ZV-1's built-in ND filters, you can easily buy separate ND filters and then thread them onto whichever lens you use with the ZV-10. Finally, you're also getting the best battery life of these three cameras with the ZV-10, as it uses the larger NP-FW50 batteries as opposed to the smaller NP-BX ones. So right now I'm on the Sony ZV-10. This is the one with the interchangeable lens mount. Um, we're testing the Sony B10 microphone on this one as well. This is a little shotgun mic that you can uh, attach to any of these cameras. Uh, so if you want a step up from the built-in audio, this is what a shotgun microphone can add to your production. So let me know what you think this sounds like in the comments below. So which camera's right for you? Let's start with the ZV-1F. If you know the type of content you want to create and want the lightest and most portable camera body married with a made-for-vlogging wide-angle lens, the ZV-1F is a very safe bet. Regarding the ZV-1, I will admit I'm actually a little bit biased for this camera because I actually personally own this one, but uh, for me this is the Goldilocks of the three. You get all the advantages of the ZV-1F minus 4mm of focal length on the wide end of the lens, but you gain more flexibility in the form of the zoom lens and built-in ND filters. Some other advantages, such as having a stacked sensor and the ability to shoot in slow-mo as much as 960 frames per second, makes this camera perfect for vloggers and content creators who want a more flexible camera that can adapt to a wider variety of shooting situations. Finally, there's the ZV-10. On paper, this is the most flexible camera of the three, as the ability to use any Sony lens you want makes this technically way more flexible than the other two. However, it is important to think through of your usage case. The ZV-1 and ZV-1F can both fit in a coat pocket, whereas the ZV-10 will always require packing at least one lens and possibly an ND filter or two, meaning that you're more likely to need a small camera bag with the ZV-10. This might not be a big deal, but depending on your usage case, that could be the difference between you choosing to bring this camera with you or not. The ZV-10 definitely has the most room to grow alongside you as a content creator. Therefore, the ZV-10 is recommended for content creators looking to invest in a system that is able to grow and adapt with them as their needs as a creator change and evolve. And that's a quick-ish look at the Sony ZV-1, ZV-1F, and ZV-10. All three cameras have their place for YouTubers, Twitch streamers, TikTokers, and vloggers looking for something that's a step up from a smartphone, but not as cumbersome and complicated as a high-end mirrorless camera. But which camera are you leaning towards? And more importantly, what would you have shot on Vlogzilla? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Nick with B&H. Stay creative.